five, four, three, two, one. What's up, what's up? What up, what up? We're back. <laughs> How long has it been? Dude, I don't know. Didn't, I think we, I feel like we just did our year in review for year in 2018 review? or 2018 something. 2018 year in review and here we are. <laughs> here we are. The end of 2019 uh, with the cozy uh, fire on. Uh, it's so nice. Uh, it's nice so and nice. toasty. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed that. That's awesome. Yeah. I figured it was appropriate. I don't know if we're going to get in here before before this year's over. Yeah. But man, what what a r- freaking ride. Dude, no joke. Right? No joke. It's been the craziest, craziest ride. Absolutely. What have you been doing like the last... I haven't seen you in like a month. I've been trying to stay alive. <laughs> Dude, I've been I've been into the hospital. That was fun. And uh after that, I've basically uh, Kids don't vape. Yeah, don't vape. Um but basically I've been dealing with getting sick from my my own kids, from my cousins, everybody. <laughs> so, and so anyway, it's just been a mess. And we at Sidebox, we kind of have a policy where at least one partner has to be living, <laughs> or, yeah. or at least, you know, feeling well. So I didn't want to jeopardize that. So yeah. I basically at least been, present. Yeah. Can, so I've been kind of keeping a distance. <laughs> yeah. I've been holding it down, man. It's all good. Yeah. And you you have, went to man, Texas, you and you were there a little longer than you wanted to be. And then, yeah. 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 So it happens. It happens. It it's happens. life. But, you know. We're back. But this roller coaster of the startups has been something else. Absolutely. So we're we're learning things, we're 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 sort of adapting yes. to this new world yes. that we're in. Yes. Um last time around, last video, we were at the at a tech conference. That's right. We Wonder actually Women set up a conference. booth. Yes. Which we've never done before. Yeah. Highly recommend um, that. Yeah, check out our our last podcast. We did we talked to a couple of founders and uh it was fun. It was yeah. it was nice to have people walk up to us for a change. Absolutely. Um, and I think the the billion dollar banner behind us. Yeah, kinda, we had basically our banner just says "Look like a billion bucks." Yeah. Like, people would just walk up. I want to look like a billion bucks. Yeah, it was perfect. How do we How do we do that? Yeah, you know? it's a it's a great op- opener. Yeah, know? it was fun. So yeah. that's kind of the last thing we did, but yeah, we've been we've been hustling, working, yeah. and. We but it was after that event. That's when I ended up. Yeah, you in the started hospital. going downhill. Dude, I started that. coughing up a lung like while I'm at the event. Yeah, and that was Friday night. That's when I yeah, ended up. I remember having having some breathing issues. Anyway, enough about that. You don't need to hear about yeah. this business. But, but I will say this: that that event was was awesome in the sense that yeah, we got to meet. And honestly, it was a small event. Yeah, but I think we walked away with. I mean, a, a pretty good stack of business cards and, and some really good leads and really amazing startups. I mean, honestly, like, mm-hmm. I was sort of surprised. I guess my expectations were a little low, but mm-hmm. because when I when we first got there, it was like, I mean, we've been to conferences. We were at one, like, a week prior that had, like, it was done at the convention center in, in downtown L.A. Yeah. Nothing had, like, two. Remember that? There was, like, two conference conference areas. Yeah packed you know Mm -hmm. and we went from that to like half of one yep you know not even half so expectation wise i was kind of like well but we'll see but honestly being there and talking to those people having a booth was was massive yeah and there is a lot of women founders surprisingly absolutely doing stuff absolutely smart you Mm -hmm. know driven and and really i think to be honest i think the way they approach some of these problems is just so refreshing. You know, it's not necessarily like another SaaS company that's just mm-hmm. trying to do another, you know, thing. It's, these are really innovative ideas that I think, you know, and that's because it's not as tread, you know, they're, they're a little more, in, I don't know. It's just, it's refreshing. Yeah. So no, it was good. I love it. Yeah. And then we went, um, things got a little, a little slow when we were trying to figure, you know, figure out what we were going to work on next. It was, it was challenging for us. We never had to look for business. Yes. And yeah. ever in the existence of, which is crazy. Know. I mean, I, we take it for granted. Yeah. We took it for granted for four years. Yeah. Let's be honest. At least four years. Probably and me four for and five, you know? Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. never having to call a call, never having to yeah. like, like send out 
blasts and, you know, email stuff. We don't even have a CRM. I mean, until recently, you know, like that's how gangster we were, <laughs> you know? So the fact is like, we sort of, we've had to sort of grow into a real agency that way. You yeah. Know? And we've learned things and, but yeah, I mean, I guess the, the update is, um, we kind of got a, kind of a nice one right when we needed it. Mm-hmm. Um, we were, you know, in startup speak, we were looking at our runway like, holy moly, like, mm-hmm. we got to do something. Mm-hmm. We got to do something or we got to turn back. Right? Yeah. We yes. still, there's still a chance to go back to these corporate clients uh, and knock on the door, right? Yes. Say, you got something for us? Um, but probably probably more of a beg, honestly, at that <laughs> point. Cause, yeah. You know, who knows? And we were right, man. We were... We were oh. right there, and we just we pushed. We were like, "Let's let's not panic. Let's not panic yet." Um, and we kind of lived it, lived the the sort of, uh, you know, we even would tap that app, right? We even though that's a separate company and that, that's a startup in its own, it it's always had Sidebox to fall back on, mm-hmm. so it's never really felt that pain. Yeah. But when Sidebox experienced that pain. It was a little bit like, do what we tell our clients to do. It's like, you stick it through, right? Yeah. Stick it all the way through. Yeah, like just, hold on. Just hang on as long as you can. Yeah. And we did, and we had a breakthrough. We got, um, we got a new client out of Silicon Valley, you mm-hmm. know? Got just, just got a Series C, uh, I don't know, over 100 million bucks they raised on their yeah. Series C. Uh, which for us is later than we like to come in. But at the same time, it's a good it's a good mix for us to come in later and do one specific thing. Mm-hmm. We're still very technical in mm-hmm. terms of like web development and those skills. We have a lot of people that work for us that do those things. So, yeah, heck yeah, we'll take it on. And it was pretty significant, and it's ongoing. Yeah. So that that that's a real good look for us. And I think moving into next year, I'd like to see us kind of put that in our mix. Absolutely. You know, because we can't just rely on all this early stage no. either because even though we enjoy it um, and we like working close with those founders, it's just the reality is they're bootstrapped. A lot of them are, yeah. yeah. And, you know, and it just becomes challenging. Yeah. Um, but we are co-founders now of <laughs> we are. one startup. We are. Or one more, I should say. Right. One of them brought us on. Yeah. Said, that, guys, that's such a great idea. Why don't you do it? <laughs> And we said, okay. Yeah, well, why not? Right, why not? And I, I like that model a lot because it allows us to play the game of of sort of VC. Yeah. Without money. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a great model. I it mean, is we, a great we model. get to build our portfolio, mm-hmm. right? Um, granted, it's time, but, you know, any serious VC, that's really what people are fighting for is their time anyway. That's I mean, right. You go, you see these, you know, why do people go to Shark Tank? It's not for the check. It's for the access, mm-hmm. right? To the, to the reach, to the people. That's right. The, to the talent. Right. And, and I feel like we, we bring yeah. that to the table. Absolutely. And it's not necessarily their celebrity, but their actual business acumen, like in yes. the, in their, their whole ecosystem as well. Right. Absolutely. So I think that's it. Right. So yeah, yeah I love it. So we'll talk more about that. We're yeah. still sort of technically in stealth mode, I guess, with some of that. We'll come out. Sometime. Yeah, we, we, we'll announce that whole thing, that whole launch. Yeah. Probably early 2020. We're still working towards a strategy to sort of get it out. Yeah. Um, we got some kinks to work out. Yeah. But it's, it's fun. I want more of those for sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, what else has been going on? Tap that app. We've got, oh, yeah. you know, we've... You guys have been following along. Um, it's been a pretty long journey, but this last you know half year or so, pivoting towards this new video platform. That's right. It's finally getting somewhere where, where we have something and yeah. something to hold in our hands, you know. And right. Well, tell a little bit. Like we had we had brought on a developer for I don't know. It was a very short time, maybe yeah. a month, to work out an MVP. Yeah, well, when we decided to go this route, we said, let's just bring someone on to, to build it. Yeah, and someone yeah. had reached out to me, and I was like, well, this seems like a good yeah, good candidate. Um, yeah, and it was something super basic, and it worked. 
mm-hmm. but we did it on Android because yeah, we did again. We're we're sort of on that mindset of we can do whatever we want on Android, and then we can let's figure out what iOS will let us do mm-hmm. later. And yeah, we built a very basic prototype of something that does what we wanted to do, and it worked. Mm-hmm. I even posted it on my uh, IGTV, uh, a sample video, and people dug it. It worked. Um, so we built on that, started building uh, the UX around that idea. I think we got it to a place where um, where it makes sense, mm-hmm. what we're trying to do. Um, brought on some a development team to look at it and give us feedback and scope out a build for do to do a real MVP for iOS and iOS, Android. Yeah. So I think that's what we're going to do next is yeah. build it on iOS. Yeah. I think we should. I mean, we were talking about this earlier and I think the the thing that, that we've struggled with on Android again is y- yes, you can do anything on Android that we want to do. I mean, it's it's completely open. Uh but the issue is is the fact that the users aren't who we want at the moment. Right. It's unfortunate, but we've had so many opportunities to talk to people who, uh, you know, who could have had a lot of influence on what we did, but they had no idea about how Android worked. I mean, even in the venture space, even in the tech space, like they're they're iOS people. That's it. Yeah. So we'd say, oh yeah, they'd be like, oh dude, that sounds awesome. Let me download it right now, and they pull out their, you know. Their iPhone nine, iPhone yeah. ten at the time, you know, it's like, and we're like, oh, we're on Android only. And yeah. Like, you know, not only was it like I can't help, you know, oh, you mean I can't download it? It was like, well, I can't even help you. Like, yeah. I don't even know. And it might not ever be on, <laughs> on right. iOS, right? Which was unfortunate. Right. Which is unfortunate. So, but now it can be. Right. So now we're taking a totally different angle on it. So, I think we'll sneak through. I think so too. I, I mean, I hope so. Um, so that's 2020, putting it on the record so we Some hold, our, hold ourselves to it a We're little gonna. bit. And then We're March, gonna. March 13th, 2020, it's uh, South by Southwest. And I don't know, there's some something about the significance of it being another decade, something about the agency where it is today, mm-hmm. you know, working with startups and then this new tap that app version. I don't know. There's something about all of that that feels, I don't know, like it's meant to be a little bit, you know, yeah. kind of comes full circle. We showed up w- w- 2016. Dang. Okay. That's how time flies, man. Wow. That's when we were out there pushing. So it'll have been four years. Yeah. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. But you know what, though? I mean, I was, I was listening to some story the other day. Some startup was talking about what, he's, what they're doing, and they were at it for like three and a half years, easy. Yeah. And no one knew who they were ever, you know? It's like, that's normal. Yeah. I think in a lot of ways, I mean, you hear about these, <clears throat> these companies that found and then like two years later they're acquired or public yeah. or something like that. Like, that's so rare. Totally you know? rare. Or you hear of some that maybe after a year or two, you know, mm-hmm. kind of same thing. And yeah. you're like, wow, how'd that happen? And then you read the story and it's actually been seven. Yeah, exactly. You know, you just, they were just so under the radar. Yeah. Or they, they had to pivot or three times to, to get where they're yeah. at. Yeah. Like Slack. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Um, yeah. So that's where we're at. I think we're going to, well, not, I think we're planning on making that trip, except we'll have to like divide and conquer a little bit or do both, you know, just wear different hats depending on the scenario. Yeah. We're an agency. And there's going to be a lot of startup founders there. Yeah. And at the same time, we've got one of our startups yep. launching a new product. So yep. it just seems appropriate to do that there. Probably minus all the, we can probably skip out on all the uh, bar hopping this time. <laughs> <laughs> Look, yeah. I don't think that was, that went too well for no, us last time. <laughs> that was rough. Too and easy And the young crew. Oh, geez. Right. Yeah, sneaking in. Yeah. Well, there is a video, <laughs> by the way, that we have out there. Tap that app at South by Southwest. Yeah. It's a pretty good video, but yeah, man, that was a rough trip. Yeah. Rough yeah. trip. We uh, we had some narrow some some narrow misses there. Some <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was one for sure, bucks, man. That was good. Yeah. What else? Agency network. Speaking of Austin, we've got. <clears throat> Yeah. Boots on the ground in Texas now. We do. Um, 
we brought on a business development partner. Yep. Um, who part time in El Paso, part time in Austin, mm -hmm. a little bit in Houston, um, and believe it or not, a little bit in Colombia. So that's right. We we actually have a a joint venture, a formal joint venture in Colombia. That's, that's right. That's literally filed with the government, that's like right. notarized. Or it's in the books. Yeah, way. it's in the books. It's yeah. legitimate. Um, <laughs> so long as the money is legitimate. <laughs> Uh, I don't know exactly. Like, not, yeah, I don't know what kind of startups are in and, Colombia, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Well, as long as they work to back them checks up. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. We're we're all right. Yeah, we're all right. Uh, we launched Zurich, we launched Zurich. last month ish. Mm -hmm. We haven't we haven't made it public or anything like that. We're waiting. At least me, I want to wait till we actually like finish a project. Ink a deal, yeah. Before we start going out and saying, hey, we're here, we're here, we're here. Yeah. Um, but in the meantime, yeah, if anybody in those regions, we're, we've got people and we're ready to work. Um, mm -hmm. Where else have we? I think right now, those two are officially launched. Yeah. Um, and then we're... We're looking you know, for others. We're looking. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what else we do? Oh, we launched GoFounders. We did. Did we do that last year or was that this year? No, that was, was last year. Was it? Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure that was last year. Maybe it was. You know, yeah, it was. Yeah. But that was before we sort of went all in. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This year we were more intentional and we, we did meetups in both here in Orange County and yeah. uh, South Bay, yeah. which were good. Yeah. So that's going and good. And we launched one in uh, Zurich. We actually had one in yeah, Zurich. Yeah, we did. Um, we there's did. one coming in January, an, another one. Another one, yeah. yeah. And we took over another group here somewhere oh, in Orange right. County. Yeah. And uh, we might be having a group or a two, I don't know, going in with another group Yeah. from Venice Beach here soon. So that should be interesting. Mm -hmm. we, ne we were working on Grow Founders. Grow Founders, there you but, go. But that, there's a whole episode on that. Um, mm hmm we're, we're thinking of launching that, or we're working towards launching that next year yeah. sometime. Probably in the summer. Yeah, probably do an initial kind of summer camp type of deal. Yep. And then go into a fall program where we can work with kids mm -hmm. on a startup idea or um, sort of this, this idea of like a pitch, <coughs> pitch night, you know, for <clears throat> yeah, kids. Yeah, like a demo day. Demo day. Yeah, sort of like a sort of after school accelerator. There you go. Yeah. So that's kind of the idea. What else? Man, what else? It's a lot of that, stuff going. That's on. That's plenty, man. That's yeah. Been... I mean, there's the the Coligo thing too. Yeah. Uh, we don't need to go too too much into that one, but we we had we had a brief idea for a while. Yeah. Right, about a year ago. Mm -hmm. To create a sort of faith based network, um, and. We got it as far as, what was it, getting a domain and buying a platform. Yeah. And then just kind of halted there. Yeah. I mean, we, we were doing meetings. We remember we had like Saturday morning. Yeah, that's me, right. You know, meetings. So we did that for a couple months and then. That was like a side, side project. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I got the, I got something in my throat. Yeah, so there was like a side, side project, Saturday morning deal. And then over the. <coughs> Over the yeah, over the break, um, Nathan decided to enter us into some um, competition, um, and renamed it and created a uh, like a pitch deck for it, and somehow we got selected to move on to the next round. So, so there's that. Um, Nathan stepped out to he's choking on something, and which is kind of funny because I'm holding a little container of these, what are these even called? These little chilies. I don't even know if you can see this on the camera. <laughs> these little chilies that you get at like the burger, these burger places. And the intent was that we were each going to pop one in kind of hot one style and then do the podcast that way. We haven't done that yet, but... I'm going to try it. We, we probably should. 
But I feel like we got to have something to back, like, we got to have something good. Oh, to do know, after. To we, do yeah. after, like, rapid fire or, oh, or something, you know, like, maybe we talk about, um, we can kind of end with what's uh, 2020 going to look like or something like that. Um, yeah. I wish I had something more creative, but. I don't. Um, so this is a. These are hot. This is gonna be. It's gonna be like that Dumb and Dumber scene, so, man. So a little bit of backstory on these peppers. So there's a place <laughs> right next to us, right here, right called Choice Burger. Yeah. Tell us about Choice Burger, Charlie. Dude, Ch- Choice Burger. I'll tell you. I- actually, I'll tell you this. Today, out of being here almost two years, mm-hmm. I could walk there. It's right next to where I live. Yeah. Today is my first time having a burger, a choice burger, <laughs> and I didn't even have a bun. I just ate like the, the lettuce the wrap, the meat, and um, yeah, Choice Burger's got some awesome Mexican food. Dude, they've got full great, on. great burrito, taco, enchilada selection. Um, they've got breakfast great, till great, eight. They've got breakfast till eight. They've got a big picture of French toast on the front of the window. It's just the most bizarre thing. They had a steak a, dinner. And the steak dinner. And they had a charbroiled chicken salad. Yeah. That they had on the window. It's everything. They pretty much sell everything. Yeah. American, Mexican, breakfast. I mean, the only thing is Asian. They don't have... No, Asian that's the only thing. thing they don't. But so, the burgers? Meh. I know, right? They're, they're all right. And it's in an old Taco Bell. And it's an old Taco Bell. So yeah. it's, it's just a... You know, it's a cacophony. Yeah. So we went there. Man, this must have been a long time ago. Yeah, last year. Probably. Was it? Yeah. yeah, it had to be. We all, we all sat down, we, in your family. We had some food. Anyway, I got these peppers out of the, the, what do you call it, chili bar or whatever it's called. Yeah. And tore into one and damn near, like, cried. <laughs> I don't know what was up with it. And it just, it was the hottest thing I'd ever, it was like straight pain. So it is stand. we are going to try it. We were over there today and we said, you know what? We're going to try this again and see if they're just as hot as they were that one day. Oh, are you going to go live? I'm going to go live. Just, oh, shoot. I don't know if anyone will actually. <clears throat> like you got the flames in the here, background. That's sort of the, hot. Uh, that's, that's definitely like the hot, hot ones. ones? Yeah. Oh, that, that, see, that's appropriate. See, then. it's like on fire. You're, it's on you're fire busy. and. Oh, shoot. We've got. Uh, oh, so we're going to do. we got these guys. Right? All right. Ding. <laughs> are you doing the whole thing? Is that where we got to. I don't know. Are we going to chew it? No, because if no. you. What are you going to do? I don't Just, know, man. I would bite like half of it. <coughs> All right. Ready? Uh. <coughs> yeah, that's that's hot. <laughs> oh. Uh. <coughs> oh shoot. Oh shoot. Dude. What are you looking forward to more the most in 2020? Uh, uh, oh. Cleaning out my sinuses. Holy smokes. Uh. Woo! Uh. You need the ketchup and the mustard. Though. Uh, dude, that is hot. Why? Uh. Uh. 2020. Right. 2020. Let's go. I am looking forward to... <sighs> Oh, man. Um, I'm looking forward to us kicking some more butt. Um, I don't know, man. What are we? I don't know. It's all just a blur. <laughs> Want some ketchup and mustard? That helped us. Uh, all right. We got 2020, it. man. What's, come on, let's wrap this up. All right. Um... <laughs> I'm looking forward to launching Tap That App 2.0. Yep. I'm looking forward to, uh, we're going to get at least, I'm saying at least five, I'm saying that right now, predictions, five VC firms on our team 
Uh, get, there. <laughs> get in there. Um, I don't know what else. Looking at, I want to get thirty new startups on our roster. All right, thirty new startups. And uh, I don't know, man. What else? So I'm with you on the Tap That App. Okay. 2020 is the year. <sighs> this new platform. Uh huh. Getting that off the ground, launching it. I'm looking forward to being a fully fledged startup agency. Yes. In 2020. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, I am looking forward to bringing on new talent. Yeah. In the roster. There you go. I'm looking forward to expanding to. As many <laughs> as many parts of the world as we can. Yes. Um, I'd like to see us. I'd like to see us a little bit more permanent in Austin. Yeah. Silicon Valley, actually. That'd be great. That that one. Let's expand it. Expand SF. to Silicon Valley for sure. Mm-hmm. Austin, um, and then yeah, worldwide, anywhere where there's these startup hubs. Yeah. I want to connect and plug into those. And then I want to have VC partnerships yes. next year as well. We can go just direct. Yep. That's that's my uh, my twenty twenty uh, okay goals. Good deal. All right. How's that, dude? My mouth, my tongue is numb. <laughs> half of it's numb. Hot half ones of it's edition. On fire. Sightbox Hot Ones Edition. We'll be back if we can. Um, in a week or two, if not, happy holidays. Yeah. And we'll catch you in 2020. See you next year. Peace.